Hi friends, this is Nirmal Patel from Aksha Education and in this video we are going to learn some complex questions uh, involved with the percentage. So here, very first thing is we got to slow down, we got to give it enough time to understand the question and then go step by step, then you'll be able to do it. So my very first question is, 24 is 75% of what number? So 75% of some number is 24. That's what I can understand. So 75% of what number? That number I want to find out. So I don't know the number. So because I don't know the number, I'm going to take like that number is X. So the number I want to find out is let us say X because I don't know. Now, 75% of that number is 24. So I can write down 75% of that number, which is X. So 75% times X, which is equal to 24. Take your time, guys, huh? because it's very, very important you understand the concept. Then doing is not very hard, yeah? So 25 is 75% of what number? I don't know the number, so I'm taking that number as x. So 75% of x is 24. That's why 75% times x equal to 24. Now, let's go back to a golden rule. If I want to get percentage multiplied by 100, if percentage is given, divide by 100. I can see my percentage sign is given. And if I want to get rid of that percentage sign, what do I need to do is I need to divide by 100. So I can take this percentage sign off now and I can just divide this by 100. How cool is this, guys? Yeah. And now what do we need to do is so this 75x, they are in multiplication. So I don't have a space here. So I'm going to work out here. So let's say 75x because they are in multiplication and then over 100. And that is equal to 24. Now I'm going to get my x because x is the number. So I'm going to make my x by itself. So the very first thing is 100 is divided by, thereby it will go into times. So 75x is going to be 24 multiplied by 100. And now this is 75 is in times with x. So times goes divided by. So I can divide by 75 here and I can take this off from there. So I can save some space guys. Yeah. Now I've got 100 here and 75. So I can, I can cut it like 25 is common. 25 threes are and 25 fours are. Now I've got a 3 here. I've got a 24 here. So 3 ones are 3 and 3 eights are 24. So I got 8 times 4. So my number x equal to 8 for the 32. So 32 is the number, guys, I was looking for. So 75% of 32 is 24. So 32 is the answer. Now, very similar question, guys. Next question. So I think after doing this, you'll be a bit more comfortable and confident doing this question. So here the question is, if 36 is... 20% of a number, what is the number? Again, guys, same process. I don't know the number, so I'm going to think like my number is X. My number is X. Now, 20% of a number is 36. So 20% of a number, number is X. So 20% multiply by X equal to 20% of a number, 20% multiplied by x equal to 36. Going back to my golden rule. If percentage is given, you can divide by 100. So 20 divided by 100. I'm taking percentage sign off. And I can divide by 100 times it by x and that is equal to 36. Now, I can try to... Uh, cancel this here as well. So zero zero is cancel. We can see two ones are two fives are. 
So only 5 is in the denominator. If I want to write down that nicely, I can write down that as x over 5 equal to 36. So my x value is going to be 36 multiplied by 5. Guys, if you know learn how to work it out 36 times 5 in a cooler way, I'm going to show you here, guys. So let us say 36 times 5. 36 times 5. But what is 5? Is not 5, 10 divided by 2, guys? That is actually, is it not? Same, yeah? And I can do like 36 times 10. 36 times 10 is 360. Or let's say before doing that, you can cancel it out. Go 2 here and 18 here. So 18 times 10 is just 180. So 36 5 is going to be 180, which is your final answer. So 20% of 180 is 36. And that's how you can solve the problem, guys. Thank you.